Good morning, it's Course Content Wednesday. How are you today? I hope you're doing wonderful. It's a little cloudy where I am, so I'm doing a little introspect, kind of weighing heavy on me because of some people I had conversations with yesterday. The mind replays what the heart can't delete. Until we can learn that we are not completely and totally described by what happened to us. You are not that alone. It's like a recipe. You have to have all of the ingredients to make it just right, whether it's sweet or savory. If you leave something out, then it's not the same. So when you have shit, happen to you in your life, know that it's just part of who you are, how you handle it, how you deal with it, how you forgive and move past and let it just become a part of you, but not your whole description is up to you. Here's a quote for you from Bessel van der Kolk. I am not familiar with this person. Traumatized people chronically feel unsafe inside their bodies. The past is alive in the form of gnawing interior discomfort. Their bodies are constantly bombarded by visceral warning signs and in an attempt to control these processes, they often become expert at ignoring their gut feelings and in numbing awareness of what is being played out inside. They learn to hide from themselves. I spent decades hiding from myself. I understand that quote more so than many other people. It's not what is wrong with you. It's what happened to you. And just like in grief, you have to go through stages to compartmentalize and decimate and take apart and hang on to what's valuable the lesson and discard all of the other the trauma the blaming the finger pointing um, the hatred the anger those have got to go but you can keep the lesson I hope that you have a wonderful week I hope that wherever you are whatever you're doing you have some time alone to start writing journaling Start taking apart what's going on inside yourself. Hug yourself, love yourself. Don't hide from yourself anymore. Just start keeping what works, what doesn't, and make a beautiful recipe out of your life. Make your life joy-filled. Make it so glorious and wonderful that you just attract nothing but goodness. Loving you from here, Annette.